Hey, Mike Lake here with altobone.com. I wanted to put together a quick overview video of the uh, four books in my Savvy series. You know, I'm getting great feedback from guys and gals that are telling me these are helping them play better, helping them improvise better. And so I'm hoping I can keep this around three minutes, but that's difficult because these books are dense. You know, I mean, each book contains tons of exercises and play along tracks. There's recorded examples of stuff, tips on practicing better, and even a little wisdom thrown in along the way. So I obviously can't do justice to all of them in three minutes, but let me give you kind of the essence of them. And if I can whet your appetite, take a look a little further, and I hope you'll grab one or two because I know that if you're like a lot of the players that I'm getting feedback from, this will help you play better. So let's start with my first book, Alto Trombone Savvy. This was my first book, and I, I think if you're interested in this book, I'm guessing you either have an alto in the closet that you kind of finally want to learn to play well, or you're thinking of buying an alto, or maybe you just want to play your alto better. In any of those scenarios, I think you're going to like this book. In it, I teach you things using the most interesting and fun exercises that I possibly could have come up with. And even with something fairly boring like, you know, learning the positions of the alto, I make it fun. So between the play along tracks, the exercises, examples, practice this stuff regularly and you will develop a feel for the alto. Now for the intermediate and advanced players, there are exercises for improving intonation and basically being able to hear your alto playing really well. There's even a section on improvising for the alto, right? I had to put that in there. Uh, that's alto trombone set. Trombone Improvisation Savvy. This is not a scales and patterns in all 12 keys book. Those books will help you build your chops, but I think much more important, and this is what the book does, is to show you how to master the connection between your inner musician and your trombone. Like, can you play whatever you can sing or imagine? Well, getting better at that is the skill that will unlock the secret to you improvising really well. Plus, part two is 15 tunes, mostly standards, that you and I will dissect, drill, and learn. Backing tracks and all. All right, jazz ear savvy. Now, taking off from where trombone improvisation savvy left off, this book is dedicated to the fundamental skill of improvising, which is that connection I mentioned earlier between your ear and your instrument. There's a lot of music in this book. I mean, people like the cool backing tracks, and believe me, I worked hard to make them interesting and different. They're unlike anything you've played with before, and if nothing else, they're fun. And I believe if you're not having fun, you're not learning and growing. So that's been a priority in this book and all of them. At the end of the book, you'll be able to play more of what you can sing or imagine. And at that point, you've made a huge leap forward in your improvising. Jazzy or savvy will get you there. Oh, and, and I don't discriminate against trumpet and sax players. There are additions for E flat and B flat at this book. Last, rhythm savvy. But last is not least, um, because I think a player's sense of time and their instincts for rhythm define their jazz playing. Maybe even you could say that about their musicianship. Because show me a great player with bad time, right? In this book, you get very unique and very specific exercises for first evaluating your sense of time and then making it better. Because the gals and guys who groove the most, it's because they have the best time. Section one is about helping you play with solid time. Section two is all about developing a groove to your playing. And section three is about improving your sense of phrasing within your improvised solos. And each of these books has dedicated SoundCloud playlists that contain all the music for each particular book. I mean, between these books, there are hundreds of sound files. There are backing tracks, exercises, playing examples, improvised solos. So. Go to altobone.com, check out some of the previews. I've put some fairly long previews to give you a good sense of what's inside these books. Check them out and see if they seem like something that's gonna take your playing and your improvising to the next level. And I think I went over three minutes, sorry about that, but there you go. Good luck with your playing, bye-bye.